One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> I'm Abigail Dempsey, I play fiddle and harmonica. I'm Chris Banky, I play guitar. I'm Jesse Thompson, I play the bass and a little bit of dobro. My name is Benjamin Lusk, I play banjo and guitar. I'm Hannah Lusk, I play mandolin, and we're Forlorn Strangers. Pete Seeger inspires all of us. <laughs> That's usually where we start. Yeah. He's a great folk musician. He's just made incredible music and we aspire to write songs that make people happy and make people want to do good things in their community. Uh, I think outside of music, uh, writers that inspire me are um, Cormac McCarthy, Ernest Hemingway. Uh, there's like a, a very masculine quality to their voices, but they also engage with a lot of tenderness uh, to their subject matter. Yeah. The guy who wrote Little Bear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, everyone's getting such serious things. <laughs> well, I'm headed north. I'm 75. I'm looking for a new home. Well, I wrote, I was working at a restaurant in West Palm Beach, Florida, and it was a gourmet hamburger place with the cutting board and like all sorts of vegetables and stuff and the grill behind me going. And I just took down some receipt paper and wrote down, I had an idea real quick. And it was like covered in hamburger grease and barbecue sauce. <laughs> so. yeah. Yeah. I've written song lyrics on. Um, wrapping paper for a, a move furniture and wrap up pack houses and belongings that I've actually unwrapped something that I'd already wrapped because I needed a piece of paper to write an idea down on the gigantic black marker. And, uh. <laughs> it's funny because I write a lot of my songs a cappella, and, and so the first thing I thought of like, oh, I've written a song on the wall when I was banging on the wall and singing. <laughs> like I've written a song on the shower rail when I was like singing, <laughs> but that was like in my head, but that's what I was using to write. Kind of counts. Yeah. <laughs> I think I uh, I wrote a song on a banana peel once with a sharpie. No. <laughs> yeah, you I win. did because I only had one. some sharpies. You went. Taking a walk, eating a banana. <laughs> so <laughs> you know what you normally sure. do. Sure. <laughs> Mom looking for a light. I don't know where. I don't know how. I think when I write, I typically have to be by myself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And. Part of what's cool about this group is that everyone writes, and so everybody eventually brings something to the table, but for the beginning of it, I have to write by myself, and I typically will write a chorus and a melody and then branch off of that, I think is kind of how I process. Mm -hmm. I was really good at college, and I would come up with an idea, and then I would take a shower. I'd have to take a shower and like get the idea there, so I'd come up with a verse and chorus and then leave it, so I'd have the melody in my head, so I could just write words you know, wherever I went. But a shower was a big, staying clean was a big part. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Outside, uh, mm -hmm. and again alone, I guess, but uh, oftentimes it's when I come off the road, yeah. there's a lot going on. I just want to like, go out and breathe it back out because I breathe it off. So. Well, yeah. And I think always just jotting down ideas and then taking a full amount of time to go back and kind of pick one and branch off from that, mm -hmm. too, for sure. Yeah, I write um, not, I don't write a huge amount of songs, but I usually I'll like take in what's happening in my life around me and, and take it all in and then wait and then it usually just comes out at one time. And yeah. it doesn't really matter where I am or what I'm doing, but sometimes with acapella or just like very simple on the guitar or piano and the whole song just kind of comes out at one time. So. But I'm gonna find it. Let's settle down. Yes, I will. There's this band in Nashville called Smooth Hound Smith, yeah. and they're a couple, and they tour together, and they're gone like eight months out of the year, and they're very snarky and funny. So it would be, I would love to read about them getting mad at each other. <laughs> Here's to you, Zach and Caitlin. There's a country musician, there's a country musician named Johnny Fritz. Oh, and, yeah. And, and Fritz is, first and foremost, probably clinically insane, but secondly, he's an amazing musician, an extraordinary entertainer, and every little snippet of something he does, like if it's an Instagram post or something that happens on his Facebook, is always so hilarious. 
and so insightful. So I would love to see behind the scenes yeah. years turning. <laughs> That's a great head, idea. It's, he's something else. Ain't got no town, no place in my. I have a notebook that I use in college, uh, just a black regular notebook. Um, that I started like really taking my songs, like trying to be a serious songwriter and not like this girl is giving me trouble and all that kind of song. <laughs> so I have a song called Settle Me Down, that was my first real train song. It's probably about seven years old now. Mm -hmm. And I still have it written on the first page of that notebook, mm -hmm. which is a really good thing. It's all got you know, beer and pop spilled all over it and everything. So that's probably the oldest I got. I have a trapper keeper. Nice. nice. <laughs> From when I started writing in middle school. <laughs> no way! So, yeah, it's way back in the day. So it's got, it's literally next to my yearbooks in like a box. So. <laughs> I've kept everything I've ever written in my whole life. I have like a wardrobe of my parents' house filled with binders and notebooks. <laughs> and I don't know why, since I was like in first grade, I was like, this must be kept. <sighs> so, yes. But I couldn't begin to tell you what or where. It's almost yeah. pointless, because when are you ever going to read all that stuff? <laughs> This is kind of an aside, but I feel like it's really important to keep physical copies of things. Everybody puts stuff online or like on in the cloud or whatever it is, but I, it's really nice to be able to go back and put your hands on something. Yeah. So I think we all have hard copies of stuff that mm -hmm. would mean a lot that we, you know, are on the list of things to take out of the house during a fire. Where I end up, Mount Helen's high, make no promise.
don't hold ground Lay my body down Bury me beside the best of them Bury me beside the best of them Except my baby, she's waiting for me when I get there, she'll hold me tight, will keep me warm up.